Welcome to Bunya Toy Town. G'day mates, welcome to Bunya Toy Town. Today, we'll be having a look at part one of the January 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine. This is a special holiday issue. There's heaps of summer stickers. There's games on the go, perfect for a road trip. You can make 18 awesome finger puppets. Oh, sick. Oh, check out the cover. You got Bluey and Bingo eating some ice cream. Oh, nice! Oh, look at that! There's also a handy holiday planner. Perfect for the grown-ups. You can head off to Rock Island, go to the toy shop, go to swim school, go camping and much more. Before we check it out, make sure you like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button. Come on, let's get this holiday started. First page. Oh, you know it's summer because it's a scorcher. Whoa! What a beautiful summer day in the city. Stick on everyone that's chilling out. This is a sticker page. First sticker, oh, it's Muffin. Oh, looks like you got ice cream all over ya. What a mess. Next, oh, who's having chocolate ice cream? Oh, I think it's Bandit. Oh, that looks nice. That'll cool you down on a summer's day. Check out this sticker. It's a massive one. It's Blue and Bingo, trying to have a lick of each other's ice cream. Hey young fellas, you better eat your ice cream, it's gonna melt. Oh, and who's this one? Looks like a lifeguard. Oh, nice sunnies there, mate. There's always gotta be someone in patrol, especially when playing in the water. Next up, oh, we got a seagull. Oh, you're on patrol too. You're trying to scab some chips or something. Oi, check out these sunnies. Who do they belong to? Maybe it belongs to this Sheila. Oi. Better put your sunnies on, mate. Haven't you heard? It's gonna be a scorcher today. That must be your handbag too. I hope you brought some sunscreen with ya. When you're playing in the sand, don't forget to bring your bucket and spade. Oi, buddy, get off the phone. Why don't you build a sandcastle or something? Check out this sandcastle. Oh, that's a good one. Maybe it's the young fella at the back making all the castles. When it's a hot day, do you wear shoes? Nah, you gotta wear a pair of thongs. Especially on the sand. Ah! The ice blocks are melting. Draw them back in and give them a juicy colour. What flavour do you think this ice block is? Ah, uh, you think it's orange? Ah, uh, you never know. It could be mango. What about this one? Do you think it's apple? Nah. Of course, it's got to be lime. Stay cool and write your name here. My name would be... Fully Sick Bunya Toy Town. Oh yeah, that's a cool name. Now turn the page to read a super yummy ice cream story. Next page. Oh, ice cream. It's a lovely day in the city and Bluey, Bingo and Muffin spot an ice cream cart. Dad won't buy Bluey and Bingo one, but Uncle Stripe gets an ice cream for Muffin. No fair, Bluey and Bingo moan. Maybe Muffin will give them a lick of hers. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Uncle Stripe says. Okay, okay, you can have an ice cream, Dad sighs. They head over to the ice cream cart, ready to choose their flavours. Mango please, Bingo asks the ice cream lady. Hmm, mango or strawberry, Bluey ponders. I'll get strawberry, I can always have a lick of Bingo's. Dad gets an extra large double chocolate ice cream cup, even though he's trying to stay in shape. Oh, Bandit, what are you doing mate? Can I have a lick of your mango? Bluey asks Bingo. Only if I can have a lick of yours, Bingo replies, as Bluey sticks out her tongue. Here we go, says Bandit. Ah, not a big lick, Bingo cries. I wasn't going to take a big lick, Bluey yelps. You were? Your tongue was all the way out like this, blur. Bingo sticks out her tongue. Hang on, if I lick first and you lick second, you could just take a bigger lick than me, Bluey says. So you lick first and I'll lick second. But then you'll just take a bigger lick, Bingo says. We can't both lick second, Bluey thinks. Let's lick at the same time, Bingo suggests. Bluey nods. Oh yeah, good idea, Bingo. You ready? Next page. So the girls hold their ice creams out for the other to have a lick. But they go round in circles trying to get a lick of each other's ice cream. Round and round up the steps. Oh, check out their ice creams. It's dripping. And around the fountains. And under the flower arch. Round and round. Dripping ice cream as they go until... Ah! 
My ice cream! It's melted, Bluey cries! Mine too, says Bingo. You had them out in the sun. Sun melts ice creams, Dad shrugs. Can you buy us another one? Bingo asks. Zero chance. It's not my fault they melted. So we get nothing? Bluey gasps. You get a valuable life lesson, Dad says. I don't want a valuable life lesson. I just want an ice cream, Bluey huffs. Dad looks at Bluey and Bingo's sad faces. Alright, I'll tell you what. You kids can have mine, he smiles. But, uh-oh, who will get the first lick? Let's take turns. Have as much as you want, Bluey says to Bingo. Thanks, Bluey. Bingo beams and takes her first lick. Your turn, I only took a little bit. Well done, girls, Dad says. I'm sorry you don't get an ice cream, Dad, Bluey adds. Well, it's actually your job to give us ice cream, Bingo tells him. Oh, is it now? And why is that, Dad chuckles. You're the big daddy man, Bingo says. Fair enough, Dad laughs and gives the kids a hug. The end. Oh, that was a lovely summer story. Next page. Oh, road trip. Quick, Dad wants to get a good spot at the campsite, away from the toilet block. So how to play? Grab a dice and a friend. Cut out the counters and the game bits. Put the counters at the start and place a game bit on any number on the game board. Each game will be different. Roll the dice and move around the game. Whoever gets to the campsite first wins. Here are the game bits. Snip the game bits out. Then fold along the dotted lines to stand them up on the board. We have Bluey and Bingo as the counters. This roadblock says, stop to repack the car. Go back two spaces. Next game bit, pass the grey nomad. Whiz ahead one space. Let's put this on number five. Next game bit, get stuck behind the grey nomad. Go back one space. What about this one? Roadworks, stop and miss a go. Oh, that's a terrible one. Let's put that on number 13. What about this one? Stop to get petrol, miss a go. Oh, this is a good one. Train race, zoom ahead two spaces. What about this one? Bushwee time, miss a go. Let's put this on number... Hmm, let's switch it up. Let's put that on number three. Let's swap the game bits of 19 and 20. Let's make the game a bit harder. We got Bluey and Bingo as our counters. They can start by the family car. Okay, Bluey can go first since she's the oldest. Oh, you got a five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. You passed the Grey Nomad. Whiz ahead one space. Bingo's turn. Oh, maybe you can get a good roll. What'd you get? Oh, three. One, two, three. Bushwee time. You miss a go. Okay, Bluey, your turn next. Oh, you got a six. You're up to space 12, Bluey. Your turn again, Bluey, since Bingo misses a go. All right, oh, two, one, two. Okay, Bingo, it's your turn. Oh, four, one, two, three, four. Your turn, Bluey. Oh, what'd you get? You got a six. Oh, mate, you're nearly at the end. Oh, but you miss a go. You got to stop for petrol. All right, Bingo, your turn. Oh, five, that's a good roll. Okay, your turn again. Oh yeah, four. Oh, you're on 16. Detour past the big peanut to 19. As you go past, you get a big peanut sticker. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, but wait, you gotta go back two spaces. You gotta stop to repack the car. It looks like Bluey's gone for the win. Oh, three, one, two. Oh, yeah, campsite, good spot, you made it. Oh, that was a good game. You can change it up. You can place the game bits wherever you want. Next page. Oh, don't be bored, games. Ah, oh, you get it? Like board games? Here's the rules. Grab another player and decide who will be sausage and who will be onion. Take it in turns to stick a sausage or an onion on the grid. Next, get three in a row in a column or diagonally and you win. Here's a top tip. Stick your stickers to cardboard and cut them out so you can use them lots of times. Here's our stickers. Instead of using cardboard, we're just going to put it on a bit of paper. We'll just make it like in a line like this. It'll make it a bit easier when we have to cut it out. 
Oi Shazza, wanna play a game of sausage and onions? You can go first. Oh, nice move there mate. My turn. Oh, I see what you're doing, blocked ya. Oh yeah, what about this one? Oh wait, I think I stuffed up. Oh no! Ah, uh, oh I blocked you there but... Ah, oh, you win mate! Ah, oh, you got three in a row! Good game mate, I'll beat you next time. Oh, that was a good game on the go. What about this one? Family four in a row. But here's what you gotta do. You gotta stick Bluey, Bingo, Mum and Dad in the grid so that each family member appears only once in each row or column. We've added a few to start you off. Come on, let's play. Here I got my stickers. Okay, so the first sticker, we got Queen Mum. Okay, so we don't have Queen Mum on the top row or on the column beneath it. So it looks like she goes there. The next sticker we got Bluey and Chattermax. Looks like she doesn't belong on the first column or second row because we already got two Blueys. Or on the bottom here. So that means she must belong here. See, there's no Bluey in this column or row. Next sticker we got Balloony Bingo. You go here mate. Nah, there's already a Bingo in this row. How about down there? Yeah, that looks right. And the last sticker we got Rockstar Dad. We only got one space, so you must go there. Four in a row, mate. This is like Sudoku. And the last game is called Bingo Go. This is a game you can play on your own or with a friend. This is an awesome game, especially when you're on a road trip. And what you do, you choose a board, and then you look out the window. You tick off the different color vehicles you spot. Once you get all the colors, you shout out Bingo. We'll have to play this game another time. Next page. Oh, no way! Funny faces! Grab a friend and some pens! So here's how you play the game. So step one, player one chooses one of the toys to draw a face on. Step two, player two describes the face they want player one to draw. Step three, player one draws the face without player two seeing. And step four, take it in turns to draw the faces and reveal them at the end. Whose is the funniest? Here's some ideas. Try drawing some star-shaped glasses, hairy eyebrows, curly whirly moustache, alien ears, multicolored hair, etc. The sillier the better! Let me go grab a mate to play with. Oi Bingo, you wanna play a game of funny faces? Come on mate, it's gonna give you a good laugh. Okay, I'll play. Okay Bingo, I'll draw first. You just have to yell out what you want me to draw, okay? Can you draw elf ears? What was that? Did you say elf ears? Oh, these look more like goblin ears. Oh, mate, I'm butchering it. What about bunny teeth? Oh, did you say bunny teeth? Okay. Oh, mate, you're gonna start cracking up. Can you draw a long nose? Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Oh, this is funny. I don't know whether to laugh or run away. How about you draw small eyes? Small eyes? Okay. Can you draw a beard? What was that, Bingo? You want me to draw a beard? Oh, are you sure? Can you draw eyebrows that look surprised? Oh, you want some surprised eyebrows? Okay. And lastly, can you draw some freckles? And the last thing you want me to draw is some freckles. Oh mate, I think you're gonna be busting your guts cracking up. This is hilarious. I wonder what it's gonna look like. I wanna see. Alright Bingo, your turn to draw. Choose a toy. I'll yell out what you need to draw on their face, okay? Okay, can you draw some big eyes? Okay, big eyes. Next, can you draw some curly hair? Okay, curly hair. Can you draw a tiny nose? Okay, got it. Can you draw a pencil moustache? A pencil moustache? Next, can you draw some fangs? Oh, just like a vampire. Last, I'll get you to draw some big ears. Oh, I wonder what it's gonna look like. Alright Bingo, let's do the big reveal. Let's see whose is the funniest. Ready? Oh, look at that! Ah! Oh, mate, look at that octopus. <laughs> that's so funny. I think mine's the funniest. Aha, I reckon they both look funny. Next page. Oh, wait, what is this? 
Code breakers? Psst, over here. Sparkle Short, that's Bingo, has found these secret notes from Mum and Dad. What do they say? Here's the key. Each picky stands for a letter of the alphabet. Oh, looks like we gotta try and decipher the code using this key. Check out this code from Mum. Let's see what she's trying to say. The first symbol is some grapes. Is that G for grapes? Let's look at the code. Oh, it's a W. Okay, let's write a W over here. The next symbol is a Viking hat. So on the key, it is an A. Okay, so we gotta use an A for the Viking hat. Wow, wow, what's wow? Next one is a dragonfly, that's a C. Okay, next one, we got a can of beans. What's a can of beans? That's a K. What are you trying to say, Chili? It says whack, whack what? Next symbol is another Viking hat. Okay, so that's an A. What's it saying? Wacker? You want me to play cricket at the Wacker? Is that what you're trying to say? You're not making any sense, mate. Okay, next code. That symbol is a wand. So that is a letter D. So that spells whacked. Whacked? Do you know what's whacked? Your code's whacked, mate. Whack some bees. Is that the answer? Oh, just tell us the answer, Chili. Oh, I think I know what it is. Let's look at the next code. We got some two B's there, and the key says it's a O. You trying to say whack a do, mate? Whack a do! Yeah, we got the answer. Oh, look at this code from Bandit. What are you trying to do, mate? You're gonna give me a headache. That looks difficult. I mean, that is trifficult. Isn't that right, Bingo? Let me guess the answer to this code. I bet you it says I Dad does not like being called Big Fella. What do you reckon? Am I right or am I right? Alright, we better use the key. First symbol is a, it's a banana. So the banana is a letter I. Oh, I think I'm right. I Dad does not like being called Big Fella. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Next symbol, oh, it's a dragonfly. So that's a letter C. Next is a Viking hat, which is a letter A. The next symbol's a dunny roll, that's a letter N. Oh, that doesn't say I, Dad. It says I can. I can what, bandit? The next symbol's a strawberry, that's a letter F. And then we got two frogs, that is double E. Then we got an ice cream cone, that's a letter L. So far it says I can feel. What can you feel, mate? Maybe you can feel that you need to drop your guts, mate. Maybe you need to go to the dunny. The next symbol is a tempura prawn. So that letter is a M. Next is a sausage. That letter is a Y. Oh, it says I can feel my... You can feel your what? Next symbol is a flower. So that's a letter S. Oh, it must be you can feel your stomach rumbling. I told ya. Next symbol is a viking hat, so that's a letter A. The next one is a sandcastle, so that's a letter U. After that is another flower, so that's a S. And then another viking hat, that's a A. And the ball, that's a G. And then a frog, which is an E. And another flower, which is an S. So that says sausages. You can feel your sausages. Oh, mate, keep it to yourself. Okay, so the first symbol for the last word is a shell. So that's a B. And then you got a sandcastle, which is a U. Next is some purple undies. Oh, yuck. That is a letter R. And then a dunny roll. That is an N. Next is a banana, which is an I. Another dunny roll, which is an N. And the last symbol is a ball, which is a G. Oh, I was way off. Looks like the code says, I can feel my sausages burning. The next game, it says, Drill Sergeant Rusty is trying to reach Private Jack using their mission code. Can you get him there? Okay, so Drill Sergeant Rusty is at the top left, and Private Jack is at the bottom right. Need a pen? Let's go to the start. It says right two. Now we gotta go down three spaces. One, two, three. Oh, looks like we're headed in the right direction. Now it says right four. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's go right. Ah, quick march! Oh yeah! Now down one, and left six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it says get down! Get down two, yeah! Right until you reach the hat. Oh yeah, got it! Now down three. One, two, three. Now halt! Right three. One, two, three. Now salute! Oh, we found you, Private Jack! Next page. Oh, sweet! We got to pull out and pin up! We love the holidays! Oh, I think this is more for the grown-ups! This is one awesome holiday planner! For the kitties, you can add your stickies to the pickies! First sticky, we got Pom Pom! Oh, hang on there, little mate! Hang on, buddy! Next sticky, oh, we got some cousins eating some ice blocks! Oh, it ain't the holidays without eating some ice blocks! Oh, we gotta fill out this little note, little reminder! Gotta be done! We gotta clean the bedrooms! Next sticky, oh, it ain't holidays without going to the beach! Oh, that's awesome, Blue in Bingo! Let's fill out this little note! Don't forget to put on sunscreen, you don't want to get burnt in the sun! Next sticky, oh, you got the family in the pool! That's right, you spend the holidays either at the beach or the pools! Great day, oh, you gotta have some ice cream during the summer! Next sticky, oh, you got Bandit cooking pizza out the back! Oh, family dinners are the best! Oh, Bandit, you're in full makeup mode! Oh, good on you, mate! What about this? Summer loving, having some fun! Going on road trips and meeting new mates! Ah, oh, that's what holidays are all about! Reminder, don't forget to fuel up before you go on a road trip! Oi mates, don't forget to spend some time with the grandparents, okay? You might even have to look after you during the holidays, especially if mum and dad have to go to work! Oi, grandparents, buy some snacks for the grandkids, okay? Let's write out some plans for the holidays. On Monday, we can do some gardening. Tuesday, we can go to the beach. Wednesday, we can go to a nice cafe, have some avo on toast. Thursday, we can go to the movies, watch Chunky Chimp. On Friday, we can go to the shops, buy some new bluey toys. On Saturday, let's go to the pools, have a bit of a swim. Monday, we'll visit Grandad. On Monday, we'll do some chores and some laundry. It's gotta be done! On Tuesday, we can go to the museum, have a gander at some old dinosaur bones. On Wednesday, we can go to the playground, we can play on the seesaw. On Thursday, we can go to the fair, we can ride the dodging cars. On Friday, we can bake some cookies. On Saturday, we can go fishing, we can catch ourselves a flatty. On the last day, on Sunday, we can go on a picnic. What do you reckon about my list? What would you do on your holidays? Let us know on the comments below! Thank you for watching part 1 of the January 2022 issue of the Bluey magazine! Don't forget to like, share and subscribe! And we'll see you next time! From Mum, Big Josh, click to subscribe!